The book of nature is written in the language of mathematics. Mathematics is the queen of the science. Pure mathematics is, in its way, the poetry of logical ideas. Do not worry too much about your difficulty in mathematics. I can assure you that mine are still greater. Hello to you. Welcome to this first training unit, Management of Mathematics as a subject of the FIT training module, Professional Insertion. In this training unit, we will look at the impact of societal perceptions of mathematics and their effects on the teaching and learning of mathematics. Some of these perceptions are Mathematics is given by G. In their families, they all are strong in mathematics. Math is for the people of a particular region. If you don't work all night, you can't understand maths. I never had more than five in maths when I was in school, but now I am rich. Maths is for genesis. What is mathematics for? I am very successful without mathematics. What is the use of Thales' theorem today? What are the integrals for? How many times have you heard this type of of remark at the market, from your family members, in a taxi, in a movie on television, in a teacher's room, in your classrooms. Studies have shown that this type of talk is usually made by people who are afraid of mathematics. According to you, what is the nature of mathematics? Why are people afraid of mathematics? Can a parent who is afraid of mathematics encourage their child to do maths? Can a child whose father easily earns a living without using mathematics like mathematics? Can your students like maths in an environment where everyone finds it complicated? The Oxford Dictionary and the Encyclopedia Britannica provide definitions and descriptions of the nature of mathematics. According to the Oxford Dictionary, mathematics is an abstract science which investigates deductively the conclusions implicit in the elementary concepts of spatial and numerical relations and which includes as its main divisions geometry, arithmetic, and algebra. Mathematics, for the Encyclopedia Britannica, is the activity of finding and studying patterns and relationships. Mathematical activity includes perceiving, describing, discriminating, classifying, and explaining patterns everywhere in number, data, and space and even in patterns themselves. Mathematics is a language, so it is also used to communicate about patterns. Mathematics is the basis of all science subjects. However, it has characteristics that make it unique and which is important to always keep in mind here are some of those features. Logical sequence and rigor. Structure. Precision and accuracy. Abstract nature. Mathematics is the best language to describe the laws of nature. Mathematical language and symbolism. And applicability. This last characteristic of mathematics is one of the most important to keep in mind for the success of your students. Indeed, mathematics is applied in most areas of life and is the basis of scientific and technological development as well as other school subjects like physics, chemistry, biology, computer science, 
and what have you. Beyond the leadership and responsibilities of the teacher, which can certainly affect the results of your students in mathematics as we have seen in module one, it is also necessary to consider the perceptions or beliefs of the students, parents, and teachers with regards to mathematics. Like Amadou Hampate Ba said, some truths only appear implausible to us because our knowledge does not reach them. The different perceptions of mathematics in our society have a major influence on curriculum development, mathematics teaching and learning, research and support for teachers and learners. It is therefore necessary to understand these different conceptions and beliefs towards mathematics in order to ensure adequate planning and effective teaching and learning in the classroom. What are the students' conceptions and beliefs of mathematics? Duke and Barbara Clark in their work present conceptions or beliefs about the nature of mathematics that are shared by many students. Here are some of those conceptions and beliefs. Mathematics is a collection of numbers, operations, and theorems. Mathematics is a tool for other sciences. Mathematics is an interpretive tool. Mathematics is a way of thinking. The problems in mathematics have one and only one solution. Mathematics comes down to facts and rules with one way to get the right answer. You find the rule and get the answer. In general, the rule to use is the one your teacher taught you. You don't need to figure out why the rule works. You just have to find it. If you don't solve a problem in five minutes, then you will never solve it. Give up. Only geniuses discover or create mathematics. Therefore, if you omit an element, you will not discover it for yourself. Mathematical problems have little to do with the real world. In the real world, just do what makes sense in mathematics. Follow the rules. Mathematics is arithmetic. Usually, students' beliefs in mathematics come from parents, brothers and sisters, family, friends, teachers, in short, from the environment close to the students. What are the view of some parents about mathematics? Like students, parents also have a set of opinions about the nature of mathematics. This is what some of them think about mathematics. Mathematics is about numbers and arithmetic on bending accuracy and infallible rules. The students should know the basics. Mathematics requires innate ability and is difficult. And so, students should not be expected to do too much. It is God who gives. Mathematics is a subject which you never know what we are talking about or whether what we are seeing is true. What are the teacher's convictions about mathematics? The work of Paul Ennis, John A. Dorsey, and Morton Misfield has shown that there is a connection between a teacher's belief about mathematics and the teaching and learning of the subject. We invite you to consult in the complement of this training unit the diagram of Paul Ernest, which illustrates the relations between the opinions of the teachers on the nature of mathematics and their models of teaching and learning. In the course, you will see Paul Ernest's illustration of the relationship between how your views as a teacher on the nature of mathematics provide a basis for the development of your teacher's mental models for the teaching and learning of mathematics. These different convictions of students, 
parents and teachers about the nature of mathematics are the cause of the inconsistency with practice. The strong influence of social context can lead you to internalize a set of constraints affecting the development of mathematics teaching and learning models. The socializing effect of context is so powerful that despite having different views on mathematics and its teaching, teachers in the same school often adopt similar practices. Conclusion As a math teacher, you must recognize the great influence of the different perceptions or convictions about mathematics on the teaching and learning, and even on the support parents give to their children. Most importantly, you need to think about not only the applications of mathematics in real life, its contribution to other subjects and professions, but also their convictions, and be aware that this has a huge impact on the way of teaching in the classroom. So. When preparing for a lesson, you should take your students' beliefs and perceptions into consideration since each of these aspects has an impact on teaching and learning of mathematics. As you know, coming together is a beginning. Staying together is progress. Working together is success. Don't forget to share your ideas and questions in the forum. You can also go to the TTP COP platform via the following link. In order to discuss with the members of your cluster, alone we go faster and together we always go further. See you soon in the next training unit.